What is up, guys? Doubles back here with a brand new video, and today I've got a treat for you because we're going to be getting back on Project Epoch and taking a look at all of the custom stuff they have to offer, including a dungeon of all things Glitter Merc Mines. Yes, a custom hidden dungeon that was recently found by players on the beta and is now being told to the rest of us. I'm going to get a escorting through it. We're going to take a look at it, beat all the bosses that we can, and uh, it's really badass. You know, they have a very good track record already, these guys, because of their dead mines because of their whaling caverns so high tier and we're gonna see a lot of high tier stuff in this video hope you guys enjoy let's jump right in all right guys so today we're gonna be taking a look at project epoch's hidden custom dungeon yeah, apparently some level 40 beta testers figured this out and uh, well, I've been told about it now they're telling the community about it because people have discovered it and I thought I want to make a video on this and show it to you guys because they did such a crazy good job with both dead mines and whaling caverns that I'm actually very convinced that whatever we're about to see is going to be really good as well. So I'm on my rogue little jazzy. I don't know if I played him for a video. I probably did. So yeah, we're going to be teleported over there very, very soon and check out their custom dungeon and quite frankly, I've never seen a custom dungeon from any server i'm pretty sure if i'm remembering correctly besides turtle wow turtle wows sometimes you guys were highly critical like when we did uh hate forge quarry for example you guys said a lot of that stuff just felt like tbc assets but when we did like for example the level 30 dungeon the one that was in ashenvale that one was actually really really good so this is glitter merc mines it even has a summoning stone and the summoning stone is usable okay that's a really big deal so we're going to be following i think this is katotes himself and we are going to be checking out this entire place now it's in Stranglethorn Vale, dead in the middle. Stranglethorn Vale, the fact that it doesn't have a dungeon, it reminds me of the same stuff with T-Wow and the Ashenvale one, right? The fact that it doesn't have a dungeon is insane, right? So, them adding one is a huge deal. Oh, I'm seeing Troll Idol, depicting a clash between the trolls and an ancient foe. Locate a knowledgeable lore speaker within Orgrimmar. Wow, custom quest, I guess? Well, that's a really big deal. Okay, he's just killing all the NPCs for me, because obviously you can't solo them. You're meant to have a group here. This is beautiful so far. Is this normally in the game at all? The mine might be, but obviously the dungeon's not, but still. Wow, this is interesting. The mine might not even be, to be honest. Although, I have to admit, I don't do a lot of these off-the-beaten-path Stranglethorn Veil quests often, so there it is, though. Wow. Wow. Imagine being one of the first people that found this. I mean, I bet they were so excited. Good for them, dude. Good for them. It makes you wonder if there's anything else hidden, dude. I gotta give Epoch props for that. I won't lie to you guys. Before we go in, my first thought when I heard Epoch had hidden dungeons that they didn't tell anybody about until the first group found it was, don't you think you should tell people about that because it's gonna be really good for the notoriety and reputation of your server? People want that stuff. But then I thought, actually, maintaining a mystery? That's hella smart. Okay, here we are. Glitter Merc Mines. Wow. Okay. So, um, we are moving in. There's a ogre right off the bat, so it's a Venture Co. thing. Get to work, you mutt, says Supervisor Grimgash. Stealth up. Okay. Oh my goodness. That's a tentacle down there. Mysterious tendril. Dude, I can't believe they made this. This is insane. So there's water, a lot of dead gobos. All right, let's keep progressing, guys. So a lot of Venture Co. stuff. So the fact that there was never a Venture Co. dungeon is still actually insane to me. Like, I know I already said it, but it's actually, like, every time I see this stuff, I think to myself, wow, how is it not already in the game? So we see a ogre right there. Those are dead. Nice. He's killing everything for me. A Venture Co. Persuader with fortitude on him over there. What? Tiny flood. Stop your yakking. Oh my god, you guys hear that? That's awesome. I wonder where they got the sound effects from. Is it custom or did they do a dust cave in and they took it from WoW and then like backported it? Any of that's cool to me, but still. This looks like it would be super hard, by the way, guys. Every mob is between like 40 and 42-ish or something. Maybe they're all 40. This looks like a dead end right here. Yeah, it's just a dead end into the mine. There's a demolitionist right there. I haven't seen a demolitionist yet. Oh, there's a chest over there. That is awesome. I do like to see that. One thing I really liked about their dead Dead Mines and the Whaling Caverns rework was that they actually cared a lot about adding chests and uh, nodes and stuff like that. What do we get? Oh my god, it's just full of loot, dude. Okay, that's really good to see. That's super good. Oh, is that a boss? Supervisor Grimgash. That's the dude screaming. It's a no boss. 20,000 almost HP, 19k. Wow. Okay, I guess I engage on this guy. Distracted him. 
<laughs> he killed him. <laughs> I was gonna see if he was gonna actually let me fight him or not. So he killed Grimgash immediately. He dropped Tarnished Linked Leggings. So this is staying in that vanilla field too, right? Because it's not just gonna give you a bunch of overpowered gear. So that's the first guy. I wish we could see more of the mechanics and stuff, but you have to assume because it's a low level dungeon, it's not gonna be like crazy. So I think that's fair. Okay, let's keep going. This might be a dead end as well. I feel like God right now. Like every time I move, like I I'm favored by God. I'm a chosen of God because I'm just running around and every time I approach somebody, Katote just strikes him down with his GM God powers, man. Oh, okay. Let's go this way now because I think we found everything we can find on this uh, side of the dungeon. So there's one main boss. That was the entrance over there. So I guess we go, let's take a left. See, everything just gets slaughtered immediately. Oh my goodness. God, I'm so powerful, dude. Okay. So going left actually just leads to some water, but you can see another persuader over there as well. Very, very cool. So there's all these mysterious tentacles in the water. And oh, there's even some dead Venture Co. people in the water as well. So a very, very, very nice attention to detail with this so far. Okay, let's go the other direction that we haven't gone yet. There is a mining node right here. Mithril deposit in here. People that do professions are going to be so satisfied with the Epoch stuff. Okay, he's slaughtering everybody on the bridge. Yep, get destroyed. Learn to play. What can I say? All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. One boss down so far. I wonder how many bosses are going to be in here. This is going to be so hard, dude, but I bet it's going to be really good for for XP at the same time. There's just so many mobs, you could probably farm them. So we could theoretically go this way. I guess we could try it. Wow, how do they actually make this themselves? Like I talked to some of the people that work on the map stuff and they're really talented, man. Like they're really talented, dude. What is this? Oh my God, a random crack in the ground. Oh man, dude. It's like there's a uh, old god influence in here or something like that. I don't have to worry about dying by the way, guys, cause I am undead. Look, they even planned around you getting back up. Like imagine, imagine that dude. Oh shit, I fell again. He says, if you attack something, I'll kill it for you. Okay, that sounds great, dude. You can fall between the cracks. Oh wait, I think he means maybe try to attack one of these. Maybe that was the hint. Oh, a furious rumble can be felt from below. <gasps> See, he was giving me a hint. This guy is actually really smart. And that's something I, I talked about a lot in my previous Epoch WoW videos is that the competence of this server is so high. <laughs> It's so high. Another furious rumble can be felt. And I can appreciate the competence. You know, sometimes I get some flack recently for being critical, but I just observe it and I tell it exactly how it is, I feel like. And uh, that can go both ways. When you're really damn good at what you do, yeah, that's all I can talk about. I wish you could see me to be real with you because I just got a huge smile on my face. Like, I'm having so much fun in here right now. Another furious rumble from below. I can only imagine we either have to kill all of the tentacles or the majority of the tentacles. Okay, now once again, being undead's really nice for this because uh, I'm not gonna die to the underwater breathing crap. And actually, I just realized just swimming over here led to another area. Okay, another rumble. Let's go ahead and kill this one as well. I might have missed one. He's killing it for me, right? Nice, dude. I might have missed one, so let's go backwards. Let's go backwards and double check. Oh, dude, oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it, Katoads, dude. I love it so much. Some of you guys were giving me a little bit of flack about talking to them about selling their dungeons to other servers. I mean, I was just kind of spit balling garbage, right? But the fact of the matter is this, it's so good that you don't ever want to do the old dead mines or whaling caverns again. And you definitely want to do glitter murk mines, right? After what I'm seeing so far. That's what I meant, really. Uh, just trying to convey that in so much, you know, in so many words. But I don't want to play a private server that doesn't have the epoch dungeons anymore. Oh god! I knew it! You kill all the tentacles and a boss appears. The kraken! And it's just his tail or his uh, fin or no, it's his arm, right? He's uh, like an octopus, perhaps? 20.6k HP. Oh, and he's dead. So we don't get to see the mechanics. Look, this guy's looking for a Silithid Lurker mini boss fight. Epoch has so much good custom content. He says, I think I bugged his loot by killing too fast. Okay, that makes more sense. That's totally fine. When I put that poll up the other day, the majority of you guys said you wanted to see custom class changes or classes, but custom content as well. Epoch right now is definitely one of the main custom content servers out there, period. It's going to rival Turtle WoW in many ways, but the competence might actually be higher. No offense to anybody. I'm just telling it like I see it. Oh, God. Evasion. But it's definitely going to be ahead of so many people, guys. Like, oh, my goodness. This is so good. So we're going this way right now, commentating as we just kind of run along. Oh, 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 oh. Here it is. Here it is. They're fighting Naga. So they've, like, holed up against some Naga they found. So this is a Tidewater Warrior. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, look, they have Murlocs on their side. Dude, that is lore friendly. Lore friendly. Because the Naga actually enslave Murlocs. And you never see that in game, by the way. At least I don't ever see that in game. Maybe you could tell me where I missed it. But there's a Tidewater Oracle in here. All these enslaved Murlocs, they're called 
Glitter Merc Juvenile Murgles. Oh my god, I haven't seen Murgles ever in game because they haven't existed since Warcraft 3. There's a boss over there. Merc Lurk. Oh, let's go to Merc Lurk, dude. Let's go to Merc Lurk. This is so well designed. Just keep taking it all in. Remember, this is all completely custom. Um, oh, they have crabs as well. Encrusted crawlers. Dude, where did you get that murloc? That creature model is what I was saying. That's insane. That's right. Get destroyed. Nice. Okay, here we go. Shadow caster's hood. Intellect stamina and increases your shadow spell damage by 15. Warlock and shadow priest paradise. What does it look like? Nice. Exactly what you would want it to look like. It looks literally like the icon they used. That's a big deal. Okay, super impressed so far. Super impressed. We can only imagine the tentacle dropped blue loot as well, so don't uh, be afraid. What the hell? Dark Depths. 8% maximum health damage dealt to me every three seconds. Am I going to die to that? He's going to let me die to that and then res me, isn't he? He's going to let me die to that. Uh, iron Deposit right there, by the way. Yep, I knew he would let me die. I knew it because he's probably thinking, what if McDoubles doesn't notice that it's on him? No, I noticed. Okay, there's no more loot. There is that pearl right there. There's another uh, iron or mithril deposit this time. Nice, dude. See, there's a strangle kelp for the uh, herbalists and actually the perfect one that you would expect to see in something like this. Now, I'm going to keep going down this cave because I know we found one boss and we could probably go back towards the mine for more stuff as well. Yeah, he said I missed two bosses. I totally expected that. I just like to see every aspect of something. Oh my god, this was a mega pull. This one's... Oh! Yeah, this pull is gonna wipe somebody, dude. But yeah, he said I missed two bosses back there, so it's definitely confirmed that there's a lot more to explore. So I said, should I not keep going this way? He said, I can. So I am, of course. I, I just want to go anywhere I'm seeing mobs, right? I just don't know what's in here. I want to explore it all. Oh, I knew it! There's a guy. His name is Gash. All oh, dude, giant sea giant, literally. Just chilling down here. And he's purple. So I wonder if they did that themselves or if there's actually a purple with pink hair model or reddish pinkish purplish hair model uh, in the game or if they just like change the... Uh, like, maybe there's, like, a scaling slider for the colors. Regardless of how they did it, it looks great. Nice little battle uh, area over here, right? He sees me. He sees me. I go for a... Uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay, he's dead. He's dead. Dude, he knocked me in the air before he died. Encrusted Fetish, right? Held in offhand for 11 stamina. Increased damage and healing done by any magical spell in effect by 9. That's insanely good for casters. You know what's even crazier though, guys? That'd be really good for PvP. Dude, it looks actually incredible. Oh my god. With that big blue thing in the middle. Oh, this is all so good so far. By the way, there is a mithril deposit right there as well. So let's keep going. Let's sprint it up. Oh, there's another entrance out of here up here. Okay, so this is an exit and apparently it even has a different uh, instance portal somewhere out there. And I just wanted to see it real quick so we can see where this even is. Look at this! By the coast, dude! By the coast! There's a giant cave! Imagine if you found it by this entrance, man. Okay, I just want to see real quick. I, we're gonna go right back inside and see whatever else there is, but look at this! Oh, you could never have found this one. Okay, you have to jump in the water. Wow, but imagine you were just like exploring and you looked up and you're like, huh? What's that giant cave? Wow, well done, guys. Well done. One interesting thing to keep in mind, by the way, is I'm level 42, and I have uh, apparently 39 talents available to me. Remember, you do get extra talents on this server, despite it being TBC. So I guess, theoretically, that's the last boss back there because there's an exit. So we're going to go back this way. So just keep that in mind if you end up doing this yourself. So now we go this way. There's a goblin shredder. Four-man sprocket. Okay, yeah, there's a boss right there. Minor David over there as well. Those might actually be the last two bosses right there there. Yeah, it looks like that's exactly what it is. Okay, let's maybe go for an ambush. If he doesn't turn around, he turned around. Okay, go for that Hemo. He's dead. Steel pickaxe! You actually get plus two mining skill. Reduce your chance to be dodged uh, or parried by 2%. Six strength, one-handed weapon. Nice. Nice flavor on that, dude. Because you have to think about this, guys. A miner, right? Which is probably going to be what? It's most likely if they're going blacksmithing or something. It's going to be a pally. It's going to be a warrior. They're going to be able to use this. They might be tanking right now. And now they're going to get a little bit of a benefit to their mining as well. Super flavorful, guys. He says one more boss hiding away. I think that's the miner David Dwarf guy. But he also says dancing murlocs if you can find them. How the hell? How have I not seen them already? Okay, another solid chest. Looking at the loot. Yeah, he's super generous with the loot, by the way. Which is exactly what you want someone to be and yeah we have a mithril deposit right there very very nice okay so let's go to that other boss i know i saw this is going to be such an awesome dungeon dude i actually want to do this with a full group i cannot believe they made this themselves because i just don't know where they would have got the stuff to make it to begin with like it's so well done they have a great team for making instances right now a great really highly talented team and uh i'll be real oh apparently that wasn't even apparently that wasn't the boss because he slaughtered him he has no loot maybe it's an easter egg maybe there's a guy named davod or david out there and they're like you know what i'm gonna add you to the game do i jump i chose not to jump i'm gonna backtrack a bit okay maybe this way oh my god look at this 
Look at all these signs. It says, do not wake the beast. I'm not joking. Eyes closed. Turn away. Mind closed. Danger. Warning. No blasting. Warning. Run. Oh my god. Oh, they're using these assets that's a part of a quest actually in Stranglethorn Vale where those uh, crocolisk things are actually uh, like a basilisk, right? They're like making you into stone. They turn you into stone. Yep, exactly what I thought. Prism scale, chilling down here. Turned all these people into prisms, into stone. Mostly trolls, I can see. And she's sleeping. I can't pickpocket her, of course. Okay, boom. Nice, 266 ambush, man. Oh, she can be stunned. Crystal flash? Stunned for 15 seconds? That's insane. And she dropped a chromatic wand, eight spirit, and changed the school of magic that this wand fires. What? What an amazingly cool thing. Change the school of magic. By the way, that's a broken ass wand. Now, there's a big range of damage there that you don't normally see. Big range of damage there that you don't normally see, guys. 110 arcane damage. Change the school of magic, though, that this wand fires. Wow, that could be good for almost anybody. That's one of the more actual custom and unique things I've actually seen from anybody. I love that. Good job, guys. Good job. I'll be honest, I play a lot of servers. Very, very rarely do things uh, impress me this much. You know, like I get impressed because stuff is good, but this is just so competent, man. Look. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell's wrong with you, man? Why can I attack them? Why can I attack them? Make them immune. They're children, dude. I'm gonna call PETA on these people, man. I was actually happy until I saw that sword on him. Look at them. Look at him just doing his little baby self. It's like, hello, my baby. Hello, my love. Or something like that. I don't know the song, man. I'm not from that age, but still. Oh my goodness, man. Oh, oh. Die! Die a horrible death! That's right. That's right, baby Murlocs. That's right. That's right. He's not gonna kill us. He's gonna let me die. There we go. Did he drop anything? He just dropped some uh, some garbage. I'm gonna make Katotes kill every baby Murloc in here, and I'm not even gonna feel bad about it. He's killing all the babies. Oh, see, this is what I'm saying. You should make them immune, bro. You should make them immune. Don't encourage people to kill children. You know what I mean? Because I just killed every sing. Oh my god. I killed every baby Murloc, dude. Yeah, this was actually messed up even for me, to be totally real. But uh, he says it's not an uber long dungeon, but it fills a nice niche in the level bracket. Bro, it fills an intensely good niche because the 40 bracket is cancer. It sucks. I don't enjoy it. Very few people, I think, do. You have Maradon, which is awful. Zulfarok, which is good. It's actually not bad. I like that one. It is long, though. And then what else do you have in the 40 bracket? Freaking Oldemon? Yuck. Oh, yikes, dude. They're actually all horrible. And now you have Glittermerk Mine, which is a Amazing. So one thing I pseudo criticize them on, criticize is such a shit word sometimes, right? Because I didn't really, but I was like, you know what? I don't typically like to go over stuff that they say is post launch, right? Because from my experience playing servers, it's not necessarily gonna be happening, right? It's not finished. It might not even be good. But Katoda is saying that actually they have another dungeon planned for post release that would come out around the same time as Dire Mall would have for Vanilla WoW, but they're not launching the server until it's already done. So you don't have to worry about delay. That's actually a really big deal. It's a pacing decision, which is just smart. So, okay, I'll take that. Okay, guys, Glitter Merc Mines, awesome. Love it. Super A. Plus. I can't believe they made it from scratch. Let me know in the comment section what you think of it, guys. This is insane. It 11 minutes later. Okay, guys, so I was asking Katotes towards the end here. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to make a video on this. He already, of course, knows that. Of course, if I'm going to see a custom dungeon, I'm going to make a video on it. But I said, you know what? If I could sneak in any other custom content unique to Epoch that I could, I'd like to do that. He said, would you like a world tour? I don't know what that means, but if it means showing me all the custom content that he can show me, I said, hell yeah, basically. So I think that's what's going to happen. Okay, first stop, Wetlands for the Alliance questing content. Okay. Okay, here we are in the Wetlands. He points me to go this way. Okay, well, let's go check it out. Custom Alliance content. All right, let's keep going, guys. Let's see what it has to offer us. I'm seeing some torches that might lead to something. Okay, just more orcs. Oh, I got TP'd. How come I got TP'd? Dragon Maw Outrunner just running by. Wait, this might be the truly custom stuff. Maybe he TP'd me because it's truly custom. So first of all, yeah, I don't recognize any of this. Upper Marshes. I see a watchtower. I see a city over there. And I see a burrow right there. Oh my god, what is going on? Okay. Yeah, the outrunners keep well outrunning, right? They're running away. Dragon Maw Blade Master. Zulamar! Oh, he made me fast too. Nice. Look at this! He created a city! A Dragon Maw Orc City right here in the mountains. This is awesome, guys. There's a pig farm. Dude, this guy did his research. This guy actually did his research. If you don't know. 
pig farms were something that the uh, old horde kind of had, basically, in Warcraft 3. Maybe he didn't know that. I assume he did. We even have an entranceway right here to, uh, like, the big old Great Hall. I think he has a Kang the Decapitator, actually. So that's pretty sick. What if he has a higher chance of dropping it? Wouldn't that be insane if he had a higher chance of dropping Kang the Decap? There's no way. He's a level 32 mob, but it would be a cute little Easter egg, even if it was, like, a 2% chance, dude. All right, he's dead. Nothing of value. Oh! It summoned the dragon. I am free. What the hell? I didn't have a quest or anything. Oh, this guy was actually a person. Wow, nice scripting. Spits on the corpse of Chieftain Necrosh. Lol. Oh my god. I thought the rat was following him. Please make the rat follow him. Just like change that, please. Oh, he says I'd follow. I'm following Dry Gooch. Dry Gotch. Dry Gotch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know that seems like it was intentional. He TPs to a dragon. He flies away. He blows fire. Do I follow the Drake too? I mean, I guess why not? I'll follow the Drake. Dragon. Okay, I'm still following him. I'm just looking up. I'm trying to stay right on his tail, literally. There he goes, Drygotch. Dude, this is insane. Like, this is how WoW is supposed to look. It actually reminds me of that MTL Media Northvale stuff. Because when it's bigger like this and you can see the roads and it's expansive, that is what every WoW player or at least Warcraft player thought WoW was going to look like, you know? WoW sometimes looks like that, but not all the time. Okay, I'm still following him. He's leading me down uh, another road and I'm seeing some Dwarven stuff now. Also custom, it has to be. Upper Marshes Burnderall. Looks like the orcs actually took this. Where'd the dragon go? He's right there. Yeah, the orcs must have taken this from uh, the dwarves. This is so crazy custom, dude. All right, I'm going, I'm going. Like, it's crazy because some people might save that guy and not even realize they could follow the dragon. But he tipped me off to follow the dragon. So you just never know what's going to end up happening. So now we're seeing dwarven riflemen, just like the Warcraft 3 riflemen, uh, fighting the orcs. Frantic refugee. Wow, guys. This is nice. This is high quality. Look at the mini map fleshed out. Exactly what you would want to see. Really, really nice, guys. Really, really well done. All the custom content. Super, super well done. So it might actually be... Like, that's why it's weird that it's going to be war mode. Because can you imagine a horde and an alliance player questing? They find each other here when the orcs are fighting the uh, dwarves. And then they start fighting. It's amazing, dude. Absolutely amazing. He goes all the way to Menethil Harbor. Wow, man. That is so nice. Nice. That's so well done. What does he do in Menethil Harbor, though? He disappears and then comes back still. That's amazing. So we're in Dun Guldar again, or some other part of it, actually. I do recognize stuff like this. It must be that even when TWoW was remaking this, that it was already here and just never fleshed out. And so Epoch's doing the same thing, because I recognize the farm. Wow, this is great, guys. Really, really well done. I love the waterfall. Of course, that might have already been there, but that's not the point. I just love the waterfall. We see dwarven farmers right here. Nice. I'll show you one important thing up here in a second okay let's run around uh, until he does that so we've got another entryway up here but it's uh blocked off wow a bunch of refugees and they can't go through because apparently stuff fell through and there's guard barley brew and everything rhymes because why not this is awesome truly fleshing out the wetlands in a very impactful and awesome way i guess because i played on the horde on my uh, turtle wild playthrough i have to play alliance on the epoch playthrough and we're definitely gonna have to come back here okay i was tp'd we're back in Zulamar. Follow the road, he said. Okay. Wait a second. What is that? What What the hell? Donagals. Wait, I thought I knew what Donagals was, and this is not it. <gasps> An instance portal that you can't go through? Is there going to be a dungeon here, dude? Oh my god, there is. There's a summoning stone and everything here of all places in wetlands. Oh man, that is sick. This is so sick. Well done, guys. A broken down steam engine right here. Five man level 60 dungeon. Oh, dude, this is amazing. There's a ram over there. There's some more orcs. There's an entryway over there. Oh, that's because that's the actual one that you actually get into when you're first coming in here from uh, Lokmodon, right? Wow, a five-man level 60 dungeon right here. Dun Algaz, or maybe it'll have another name. I see a red dragon whelp, so that could be a hint about what's going to be going down in here. Lost whelp. Okay, I think he's going to show me Stone Talon Mountain now, which I believe he's changed up a bit as well. So this was awesome, guys. Definitely worth looking at. Oh god, here we are. So, okay, he said go forward. All right, I'm going forward. So we're a little bit off the beaten path, some different custom stuff, seeing some Stonehenge looking stuff. Venture Co, they're back and they're, uh, you know, in it to win it. Another instance? Oh my goodness, dude. This is a big deal. They're adding so many instances, or at least they have plans for it. And knowing how good they are, it's really exciting. Ancient Protectors, Dead Night Elves. No way they made something that looks this good. No way, dude. I don't even care that I died. He'll res me, but no way. What level? There uh, must be max level because there's questions 
question marks. Dude, this is so good looking though. He res me and everything's okay, but this is so good looking. There's lava down there. I can't believe this is just in Stone Talon Mountains, which by the way, is a pretty underdeveloped zone, even in Vanilla WoW. I don't like what they did with it in Cataclysm because it ended with like a nuke on Theramore or something like that. I, I just didn't like it to be honest because Stone Talon, if you played in Warcraft 3, all of this stuff is supposed to be so mystical, so deep, right? And there is an instance portal right there. Oh. Lee crap. Wow, dude. I'm actually getting chills again. Because like I said, they don't even have to prove themselves. They've already done it. They're so good at making instances. Wow. What is this going to be? Well, I, I guess I can't go through it, but you can kind of see. This is insane. What is this going to be though, dude? You can't go in yet, but that's amazing. Look how cool it looks in there. This is our version of Dire Mall. What does that mean? Is it literally going to be Dire Mall? He says dual winged 60 man post launch dungeon. Oh, okay. So it says they are actually going to release Dire Mall in its own like unique and custom form, but this is going to be a five-man dungeon. He says not a 60 dungeon, so maybe in the 50s, right? The high 50s maybe? That is so freaking cool. Look, there's a pillar right there. This is the kind of stuff I want to see. Okay, I got to be honest. You know, Epoch, I still hope you guys do custom class changes. I'm not going to lie. They don't have to be crazy. I'm not going to lie. Like, I just really think it's a big deal. Based on that poll I put up, everyone else agrees. But you've already got me, and I can just guarantee you right now that you've got me by showing me all of this stuff. This is quality, my friends. Quality. Left takes you down in the Stone Talon Mountain, right up to the peaks. Oh my god, two separate instances, like he said. That is amazing. This is amazing. Like, really, really cool. <laughs> this is really, really cool, dude. It's what I would have expected from freaking World of Warcraft when I played original Warcraft. Like, every time I say that, you know it's a big deal. Wow, 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 dude. Wow. Good job, guys. See, I didn't know about this. If he didn't show me this, I would not have expected this because they're trying to make it to where you still have to discover stuff on the beta, which is all fine and dandy, like I said. But let's pretend you don't have the time right now to go super slow. You might not know. Tolbarad, we're in the middle of the ocean right now. This is something that was originally, I believe, added in Cataclysm. I do remember doing the PvP stuff. I did enjoy it. Of course I did, though, right? They said, ignore the green texture. It looks like something missing in patch. Beta be beta. Yeah, totally, dude. Of course, man. So they have a meeting stone for it. We have an old alliance fort up there. And then we have a cave. And we're in the middle, right below Hillsbride Foothills, but in the middle of the water. So I go through the cave, and what do I see? A bunch of broken down stuff quite close to me. An old human-looking piratey fort. There's that old alliance thing I talked about that we saw from down below. And that's where the instance is. This is day one launch, by the way. Wow. So this will be out on launch. Giant human fortress may not be entered at the time, but I was able to go under it. So thanks for that. Dude, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be like when you go in Skolomance, you know what I mean? This is sick, dude. Great job, guys. You should be so proud of yourselves. I know I said it in a previous video because again, I love all the people that make private servers. If they didn't make them, I wouldn't have something to make videos on. But when people do things that are clearly above and beyond, it impresses me. And I hope I can like actually get it across to you guys. There's a lighthouse. Okay, so we're going to go check that out. When the competence is this high, you just have to love them. You have to love them. I want to give Katotes a hug, dude. Thank you for like bringing something like this quality based out into the scene. Everything I've seen so far has been such an impressive thing to behold, man. So there's a bunch of piratey stuff, an old village. It could end up having uh, maybe enemy NPCs in it or not. Could be allies, but probably enemies. And we have pirate ships and a harbor. Dude, it makes you feel like the uh, potential for Epoch is limitless, man. Genuinely limitless. Could be a vendor right there some day you just never freaking know one thing i like about these guys is that they want to add uh mysteries they want to add mysteries to the game that's it you know you see a vendor you see an item you see a rare you see dancing murlocs you didn't expect it but it's there i respect that because that means they actually care you know what i mean so basically, this whole island is the pre-dungeon, kind of like what we just saw uh, in Stone Talon, and it will have some quests and level 60 elites all over. Wow, quests as well. They're hidden on the realm. Oh, wow. Graveyard right here. A pre-dungeon, by the way, as a concept is not something you see much anymore. It's definitely more of a true vanilla thing, so they're really staying with it, you know? I love that. That's it, by the way. We have a good vantage point up here. This is it. Tolbarad. Now, when they said this, I didn't actually think at first glance it was going to be impressive, but I was wrong. <laughs> I was freaking wrong. And like I said, I hope you guys really do know that I mean this. I don't care if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, it's better than what I thought. That's always good. It's always good. Hell yes, dude. He said more. I'm like, yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. All right, let's see where he takes me now. Okay, he TP'd me to Tenaris. I'm at Anji Watha. Oh, <gasps> very southern part. And there's troll people here. It's a horde base of some kind. 
up a horde questing hub in Tenaris. Yo, yes. It just makes me want to fight people out here though. You know, if there's going to be horde people down here, I want to get on my alliance, go down here and fight people, man. I'm just afraid people won't turn war mode on. The thing is, the bloody coin system that Katotes has, uh, you know, theory crafted for this server, really good idea. I do think they should get more bloody coins, but I'm sure he's play tested it and his version might be the right way to do it. But it's a really great idea. I just hope that you guys turn it on. Like, I'm just afraid for you guys. I know what I'll do. So here it is, a horde questing hub in Tenaris, a watchtower, a bunch of troll stuff, Nereid the water elemental. The sea is a teacher guiding us on our journey through life. Yes, it is, dude. Yes, it is. Wow, man. I'm so impressed by this dev team. This guy has a quest. I can't get it. I'm too low level. Innkeeper, yo, you can actually set your hearthstone. Can you imagine having a hearthstone in the very southern point down here? It's actually a good spot. Really, the only thing this is missing is a flight point, right? So I see another entryway that might lead to the beach. And then I see this over here. So let's check this out. I like that the mini map is not broken at all for anything I've seen so far. I see a cave. And there's a uh, royal apothecary people here with quests. Alchemy supply vendor as well. Shadow power elixir. Polished philosopher's stone. You'll have to tell me if any of this is actually custom or not. I don't ever do alchemy, like literally ever. This is so good though, dude. So high quality. Trolls everywhere. Of course they would be. Their uh, brethren, the sand trolls are here. Now the trolls are going to be like, you know what? Uh, you know, horde. Let's uh, camp down here and make some stuff happen. This is so good. Oh, and they have an army going on, man. So all of these Orgrimmar reinforcements sent to Tenaris. Wow, man, really well done. I bet they're hot as hell though. We're in a desert, you know what I mean? Anyway, moving on over here, a little bit of water. The rush of the currents and the power of the waves can be both exhilarating and terrifying. Embrace the thrill, but always be mindful of the dangers. Yeah, I'm kind of, oh, they do have a flight point. Yo, the competence, the competence, the competence. Wow, a Southern Kalimdor flight point like this for the horde. A raptor master. What's that gonna end up meaning, dude? Can you just buy your normal mounts here? There's a riding trainer I saw too. What the hell? Robert Butcher Jr. Gadgets and Water Co. Greater water breathing, essence of water. That might be interesting actually. And Water Co. Finest mana. This dude was just running. Dude, this used to be a little shit tier thing that you could get some pirate quest from. Now it's the Steam Weedle port. Like, like for real. Um, okay. Let's check this out. First of all, I'm seeing some mounts. I'm seeing what could be an innkeeper area. Yep. Wow. I see a mailbox. They have thought of everything. You know, sometimes these servers I play on, they forget about a flight point or a mailbox or an innkeeper. And you're like, well, okay, you can't expect everything. The thing about Epoch though, is like I said, they don't forget anything. In fact, they even add extra stuff. You have Mickey Small Sprocket. I can't buy from her yet, but she's going to be a food and drink vendor. And then we've got this dude over here. Oh, oh, this dude's just sleeping. This brute. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Aha, okay. Did you see a masked figure? There's been an arson attack. Nah, no criminals this way, citizen. Just a brief hello to our good friend, Dozzard. Okay. You're good. I did not expect him to have a dialogue option, man. Also, nice uh, wallpaper with the pineapples, bro. SpongeBob SquarePants up in this shit. Okay, let's move on. Wow, this is way bigger than I would have expected. So just so you know, this building, that building, and that little harbor is what you normally see, right? So ideally, you'd come over here, right? You'd be like, hey, I want a pirate quest. He has it. No one drinks for free. Have a stern talk with the occupants of Steam Weedle Port who have not paid their water bill. Wow. Because water is a big deal here. So you're seeing that a lot. Really nice look into the lore, guys. There's even a boat. I don't think the boat's normally here. It would be cool if this was actually utilized as a way to uh, go to a different part of the world with like an actual boat system. But I don't expect something like that, to be fair. This is cool enough. This is really badass. Whoa, oil soaked critter. Huh, that must be for a brand new quest. Covered in a thick coat of oil. Wow. Oh, there's a quest right here. That has to be custom, right? Collect eight uh, filter parts from the seabed surrounding Steam Weedle Port. Wow. And you know what? This area needs more quests because you know what they've done a good job of, guys? It's filling out the 40 to 50 bracket, which is garbage. It's always been garbage. Give me more quests and they're doing it. I actually love Tenaris questing because the world PvP is really good. There's really only, just so you guys know, because I know so many people don't give a crap about world PvP at all anymore besides me. But if you do like it, you know there are two major zones that when you get there, shit's about to get real. The first one is obviously ST Vietnam, Stranglethorn Vale. But the second one is Tenaris. It always has been. And when you get here, you know you're going to fight and you like it. Wow, by the way, look at all this. I didn't even look above. It might actually uh, carry water to all the places. That's awesome. Fashion designer, here she is with the pirate hat quest. We have a wanted quest. Caliph and Andre, that's where it should be. Nice. General goods vendor. Wow, he has all sorts of stuff. I actually do need a better throwing knife lol, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that happen. I could sell the blues I got from that one quest. I'm gonna keep the pickaxe. I'm gonna keep the hood, actually, because I don't have a hat. I just realized that. Okay, level 35 wicked throwing dagger. I will take that. Nice. Okay, here's a little uh, gnome just being himself. Just love him, you know? Little in a bit wedge feet, you know? He's doing him. All green? 
Boom, 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 he says. Collect eight flame sacks. I can give you one flame sack. But that is sick, dude. And they're around the dragon bones around here. What do you got for me, little? Oh, oh, they're killing the scorpion. There the little boys go. They, they're going to get him. Oh, oh, they got him. They're going to kill the scorpion hunter. He's going to die. You see, it's going down. And it, oh, oh, oh. He died. He died a horrible death. What do you got, Goddard? Collect eight ancient batteries from the Moonshade Ruins, which would be down here, and six extracted Scorpid Venom sacks. Wow. Like I said, I've got one sack, but I can collect five more. So there's actually an oil field over there, which I don't know if that's custom, but I don't recognize it. And there's an extra little goblin house here as well. Now, I'm not going to go over there because I know what an oil thing looks like in this game at this point, but there's an oil spill right there. So it's possible there's a quest over there. Yeah, this is amazing. I would have never expected this, to be honest. My expectations aren't necessarily low when people say they're gonna do new stuff but it's not this right this is great good job guys okay let's see what else they have in store for me okay listen up guys i've got a whole other videos worth of new stuff to take a look at during this world tour that katotes took me on for this video though we're gonna have to go ahead and end it right here glitter murk mines a lot of new tenaris stuff two places the horrid place the steam weedle ports we looked at all sorts of stuff in this video let me know what you think of it in the comment section below epoch is looking really really hot and by the way confirmed i think they're going to be making class changes as well which really ultimately makes this the server to look at over the next you know year I, I think it's gonna take a while for it to come out but still anyway if you guys enjoyed like and sub major thanks to the members of my channel i love and appreciate you guys but i'll see all of y'all in the next one mcdoubles out